Hi everybody, I'm Shah and from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is just um, a little um, introduction and also an update. Uh, I'm going to do this weekly, just giving you updates and uh, what is going to happen this week. You know that I use different cards, the spiritual cards, angel cards, also just normal tarot cards, Lenormon cards and this is my favorite uh, from the angels at the moment Archangel Metatron and um, that's why I wanted to make a correction there is an introduction a video um, for new people that come in and I say Archangel Michael and it's Archangel Metatron so he's in the playlist I did a review on that one also on the Enchanted um, Dreams Tarot and on the uh, spirit of the wheel which I got from Brenda we do exchange decks and also the angel reading cards besides the usual uh, Diana virtue cards there's more cards coming and I will be or decks and um, I'll be doing reviews on them and I'm also collaborating with uh, Crystal V or rather V uh, I will put her link down in the description and so you can uh, go and have a look at her channel. So I'm doing also shout outs and the shout outs that I have is Brenda Tero, uh, Mini Pal, um, the Aussie Angel Lady, Michelle Newton, uh, North East Tero, uh, Ordinary Allison, she's Astrology. Uh, so if you need an astrologer, then go and have a look at her. And then we've got Nicholas Ashbo and Dane Hart. She's very nice. She's also a young one. And we need to support the young people as well. Not only the uh, mature readers, but like uh, uh, Nicholas Barr and Audrey Ellison and Northeast Tarot but also the young ones and the newest one that i'm collaborating with is v crystal okay and uh today uh this uh, video will all be also be shared with v crystal and so it will be very short because we're just telling uh talking about what we're doing who we are and i've chosen a subject today on what can you do with a reading a lot of people come onto YouTube and they go on to one reader, to another reader, to another reader, and you get your favorite readers. And when the readers go live, then it's really nice to get connected. And that is also what I wish to do, is get more involved and more connected with my viewers, known as the Cyber Angels. I'm also known as the Cyber Mum. Now the question is, how can I change? What can you do with a reading? So how can you change by just listening to a general reading? Uh, how do you interpret a reading? Use the general reading. How do you use, how can you use a general using? Choose what is relevant. So I'm going to take these five questions and I'm going to quickly discuss this with you although it's only one-sided but when you come into the life I think I'm also going to go live perhaps once a month just to discuss issues so make a note of the questions and if you've got any questions then join in when I go live and do the discussion tomorrow um, I'm all um, Wednesday I'm collaborating with the Dutch witch Wendy so we will we'll be doing another episode on uh, uh, Marla, 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 I forgot her name, sorry. Marla Brooks, and this is um, the deck. You can order it from Shiva. I will put the ISBN number below and we will be dealing again and discussing uh, a couple of cards in the deck. What do the signs mean? Um, what is a witch? How does the witch use this? Um, there's also an oracle uh, <coughs> stone related to each card and also an incantation. An incantation, people call it a spell, another one, other people call it an affirmation, another one call it 
a mantra or an, uh, an affirmation or a manifestation. So it all depends which reader you have and how they interpret it or uh, which author interprets their, interpret their cards uh, or give extra meanings. Uh, I've got a deck now and that's the House of Shadows and this author Monica Bodinsky calls it an oracle deck but to me it is a linamon because all the cards have a linamon meaning but she puts an extra meaning onto it as well and I they're very simple cards there is also a review in the playlist of this so um, have a look what you feel from the cards and how you interpret them and this is why I started this video just to discuss this what can you do with a reading? How can you interpret a reading? Obviously, uh, you hear readers say or creators say, uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at the moon sign or the rising sign. The um, zodiac sign is made up of moon sign, rising sign, um, uh, the sun sign, that's the, the, the time that you're born, uh, the, the sign that you're born in, Gemini, Libra, but the other planets, the moon sign, they were also in your chart and also planets. And a lot of people forget that it is not only the sun, the moon and the rising sign, but it is also planets and trines. That trine is a triangle. Then you've got the square, then you've got the circle. I'm not an astrologer, you need Patrick or uh, Ordinary Allison, uh, those are two of the good ones that I like. And Ordinary Allison also does um, astrology plus tarot. She does a lot more, but then you'll have to check that out for yourself on, at Ordinary Allison. Um, so how can you change? You can change by bisecting and really look at the reading you can stop a section think about it take note um, then you can interpret for yourself uh, go back to your list what what stuck out in that reading to you if you are a reader yourself you can see well there was that and that card and uh, i interpret it that way nobody everybody reads differently and nothing is wrong okay it is your feeling your ideas that you get that says that card means that to you okay it also is an eye opener because sometimes a reading can really open your eyes and be very confrontational but if you are honest with yourself and you can see it yourself or look at yourself in the mirror then you're on the right road because you're a deep thinker. That means that you stop to think what has been said and how you can use it. Just take a sieve and that's why they say if it resonates with you, then great. If it doesn't, go and have a look at the other signs or take from this reading what you can. And that is your message of that reading. OK, and the energy changes from one second to the next. That is how you can use the general reading. So choose what is relevant to your situation and to your question. Now, um, there is uh, five quick, uh, five quick and easy ways to use uh, the reading to your advantage. That the those are the, for example, how can I change? What can I do with a reading? How do I use a reading? Um, which reader uh, do I choose? Do you, no, this is not really right. Uh, right, uh, how do I interpret a reading? You can bisect that. You can write it down and you can say, well, it's the pictures, it's the numbers, it's the meaning of the cards. Then you can take, um, uh, how do you use it? Well, I use the numbers, I use the pictures, or I use the whole reading all at once. What is being said, the conclusion of the reading. Um, how can I use it? 
you can use for example you can if 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 there is an incantation or if there is a, an oracle card uh, let go you can sit down contemplate meditate or sit quietly and think about that word that is a mantra that is a man an affirmation that you can use to get what you want uh, you can all remember you cannot change the past you can only change the present and the future because you are here at the moment so the present energy you can change because you can decide so if if it says somebody on just five of swords just comes up in my mind so at that how can i use the five of swords just be aware that there is energy around you that is iffy so be careful what you say that's the meaning of that card be careful of what somebody else might say what's your intuition so you can use it by being more charming more patient have more insight listen well to somebody else before you speak that is how you can use a reading then perhaps with this explanation your reading might come more alive uh, uh, then I've got another way uh, the three ways that you uh, can uh, adapt to the readings or change things in the readings like I said numbers pictures your meaning and um, interpretation of the pictures and the, the the cards and how do you feel does it wake does it stir something up in you your intuition or new ideas or new visions that is also how do you look at things uh, in life with regard to uh, after you've listened to a reading what can you take away um, was there any specific message given in the reading like if you for example if you can't meditate or um, contemplate make a visionary board of what you was uh, uh, of what you want so was something given to you in order to motivate you or to change so that you can change things your attitude or the way of thinking set the uh, a reset button now mistakes I've made a whole list of mistakes so if you use a reading and you're trying to take it step by step to change or to adjust um, uh, like it, uh, your life then there are of course also the negative side of it the positive side is that you um, are actually motivated and taking action in order to change to the positive and stay positive and if you are a positive thinker um, and you do or you do get a negative thought in say thank you and walk on I'll let go I don't need that I'm staying in the positive but stay in the reality now I'm going to call out a couple of um, uh, numbers of what can happen uh, what are the mistakes that we make we fall back into our old habits like if we say okay we're going to meditate or contemplate sit quietly every day um, it goes all right for one or two three days and then you fall back into your old habits you forget to contemplate or meditate and take time out for yourself it is essential that you take time out even if it's 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night you are showing yourself and your soul that you love and respect yourself and you are busy with yourself if you do this every day it will become a habit and you will take time out automatically even if it is sitting in the bathroom for 10 minutes then other thing that it is a mistake is you forget about your new routine so if you do forget about your new routine and you are being attended to that is your subconscious your inner self your higher self or your intuition saying hey wake up call you're wait for getting your new routine so do you want to stay and improve yourself and advance yourself spiritually or 
earthly, then think about yourself. That is also self-love. To tickle yourself doesn't cost any money, okay? Pay attention, give attention to yourself. Also, what is a mistake is forget yourself and say yes to everything. No, 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 no. This is time for yourself. You need time for yourself. So don't always say yes. You're there for others, but you need to also be there for yourself. You forget your boundaries. That's also a mistake by saying yes again yes you forget your boundaries you're ciphering yourself away uh, also a mistake is that all uh, uh, that um, that you could expect all the information that is given in a general uh, reading applies to you and everybody. A general reading remains a general reading. A general reading you can use only to motivate yourself to start thinking and if you do want more specific answers then it's better to take a, a, a private reading. This is not a promotion. I'm not calling out for uh, doing readings. No, no, no. Just think. Because uh, you get a purer energy. And if you are a reader, you will agree with me. You'll get a purer energy and a purer answer if you have a one-to-one -one, uh, time and a reading, even if it's a question. Okay? Why do you phone up the telephone lines? Okay, that's a one-on-one. -on -one. So the um, readers on the telephone lines, uh, they are one-to-one. -one. You have got um, that one-to-one -one energy, but you don't know um, who is on the other end. Personally, I like to see who um, somebody is and what they do. So that is the advantage of YouTube. You can experience um, by watching videos from readers and creators and you can also experience readers um, in uh, real-time uh, sessions, live sessions. You can do the super chat and that's why I think the super chats and the super stickers are amazing because even in that little time it is one on one uh, energy so the reader or the creator the reader medium psychic whatever you want to put it into the cabbie hole i don't like cabbie holes they have the energy for you for just that minute that they're pulling cards and that's getting in interpreted for you okay and um but uh, I've experienced also for myself that uh, when I'm uh, doing a live session and I go into the paranormal with the Talk to Heaven cards, I love them. There's also a lot of people waiting in the queue. This is my side, okay? There's a lot of people that want to talk to everybody, but you never, you only get a, a, a little bit of the message because there's boom, 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 boom time. The live chat is moving. So remember, if you want to connect with somebody from the other side, it's better to have a one on one uh, uh, consultation or, or telephone connection because then you don't have all the other people, sons, daughters grannies, mothers, fathers, lost children coming in, okay? Because everybody is, once, to, once they've found a channel, boom, it's overloading, okay? So then you cannot get a clear uh, message quite often. Not always, but quite often. Okay. What is an other mistake? That you ask the same question all the time. What I uh, also find from a lot of people is, will he come back? Will she come back? What does she think about me? What does he think? You know, um, and it's not in an extension of a month or six weeks, but it is also, um, give it a day or two. 
and they come back into the live session and they ask the same question. I'm not somebody that does this for the money, although I need to, um, but I still stay honest and pure to myself, okay? And I, I, I want to uphold my respect and that's why I'm being honest with you here. Give it time. Time is man-made. That is also a mistake. If you ask the same question, I know the energy can change from one second to the next, but if your question is, will I hear from him or will he come back? What does he think about me? Have a look. Ask yourself the question. Has he been in contact with me? No, then he's most probably contemplating about it or he's busy with his study or he's busy with his work. Give it time. Don't worry that much. Okay, we don't have to text every day. In the olden days, we didn't have the mobile or we didn't have Facebook or YouTube or WhatsApp to text. We weren't checking up. We trusted our partners through thick and thin. Okay, that is a piece of love. And that is what I'm missing in community in the real life today. People should learn to trust and love, respect. Respect and trust are the two most foremost things in love. If you can't trust each other, it's no use beginning a love relationship. We, the world is so small, but yet so big. So we have, to, because it's so small, we have to travel outside the city or our town to get our money to live off. We have to earn money outside the, uh, our little cities or towns. So we have to trust that everything's all right. Okay, try to turn it around. Does he trust me if I don't phone him? Try to turn it around. Think. What can, what, you are the one that knows that person. How does he react when you are with him or with her? Okay, now another mistake. Uh, not allowing time for the issue to have changed. That's the same with Reiki, you know. Um, and this is also people that do Reiki nowadays or get initiated in something. There are stages just like life. Everything goes up and comes down, up and comes down. The same with Reiki. When I did my Reiki 1, there was a rule. You cannot do Reiki 2 until at least six months to a year after the first initiation because you have to exp ex um, experience the change, experience, experience the change of consciousness. Of things that you have to meditate, you have to do the exercises, you have to learn the signs. What are the signs if you've got a biological background that you've done uh, uh, by biology or an anatomy, then um, Reiki will be much easier for, to, for you to learn and to understand because the chakras are all the chakras are all associated with the body. Right, this is the heart, sorry, and the thamus. Whilst I'm here, the thamus is here, and that's a little clan that when you tap, tap on it, right, it's in the line of the heart, it brings up the hormone of joy. And that's what you hear me talking about as well, but you can never see me um, actually pointing it out. Okay. Okay. Um, what is also a mistake that when you are in a situation or when you are in your thoughts, you might forget that time is man-made. I, I strongly believe that time, you cannot tell time because time is man-made. The only way that you can more or less see time is like the pagans like the native Indians of America, of uh, Chile, South America, of Canada, of 
uh, the uh, Aborigines in Australia, uh, Australia and the native in New Zealands that were working and still work with Mother Earth and Father Sky. The witches, the pagans, they know what time is seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Those are the only indications that you can give. That's why this deck, the wild wood, um, the wild wood tarot, is a beautiful um, deck because it does give time. Like swords, swords is spring. I think uh, I'm still learning it. I'm still learning it. But uh, winter, I forgot now. Uh, I have to look it up. Sorry, guys. I've been doing this for 40 years and sometimes I still forget things. Okay, so Earth is um, like I said, swords is spring and wands is summer and that's easy to remember because that's Leo, the sun is Leo, that's a fire sign so that's wands, so that's summer. Then earth is winter, when it is when, yeah, from autumn to winter, autumn is also when everything is going blah, 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 but when everything is dormant, like the bear is going into hibernation, that is winter, so that is earth, that is pentacles. Then we've got the, the ones of summer, cups is autumn, um, and uh, the swords is spring, and earth is winter. So that, that is the only way that you can make um, an indication on time. Uh, also, what is a mistake is forcing your will um, on to somebody else. You must never, ever force your will. How do you do that? You can push your mind because the mind is strong your energy you can push and push on manifesting okay manifesting and focusing on somebody you can also force your will onto something to bring it in so that's why when somebody says make a wish be careful what you wish for because it will come true even if it takes 80 years it will come true but it might not just be what you want because it might not turn out the way you are picturing it because it can backfire on you you can't also forcing time you cannot force time because you will drive yourself mad because you will push 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 your idea your your manifestation and the more you want it, the more you push it away. If you let it go and just say, welcome, I would welcome this into my life. It will, it might be a different person. You might have a fixation about one person or one thing. But if you let it go and you say, I wish I try to formulate your manifestation in a different way, in a positive way, like you want a Leo. You're mad about a Leo. Well, the universe and the angels um, might not think that this person will teach you the lesson you need to know in your life because you've come back into this life because I do believe in reincarnation. The proof is there that there is some life after death and you will come back to learn. Again, improve your mistakes. That's why the word temptation is here will the, the negative tempt you uh, or the, the positive the good things so if you do things negatively it will come back threefold the witches the pagans the natives they say that as well and I'm a, a firm believer of that if you do good it will come back threefold but it might be even better than you ever imagined especially if you haven't experienced something positive or negative that bad that you have to scrabble up that is when the negative you've been right down there and you've had to climb back up you'll get it back 
but in a different way than you expect. It will blow your mind sometimes. I promise you. <clears throat> but don't drive yourself mad. That's why you've got the cards. Sleepless nights, the nine of wands, the eight of swords. You're too much in your mind and you're not seeing what's in front of you. Be happy with what you've got. The five of cups. Don't look at what you don't have. Look at what you have. Take that. Use that to your advantage and multiply it. That is how you can use a reading. This is how you can in interpret the cards to your advantage. That will keep you in your power, your strength. Like the eight of uh, the strength card, the eight of the big arcana. That's what I was trying to look for. This is how you can keep in balance. Justice. Okay. Okay. Forgetting to let go of the negative, that is also a bad habit. That you are in such a dip at the moment before you can go back up again, the wheel of fortune and the world, that you are in such a dip that you go into depression. The cross of the Lenaman, not the four of cups in the tarot. You are only busy and focused in front of you on what you want and you want it yesterday or now. Because you think you can't live without it. Life will carry on with or without you. You might still still be alive but it, life carries on. The day goes on. So let go of the negative and if you don't know how to do it ask help. Don't ever be shy to ask for help. Make new friends. Take time, steadiness to build up trust and you must try to see what you have around you. Look, uh, yes, then you can compare yourself. Compare to people that have been in fires, lost their, lost their houses, have been in floods, people that are uh, fleeing from their own country because they everything has been taken away from them. The home, the food, uh, the routine, the jobs, the work. So look at what you have. Do you go to school? Uh, I'm doing this for 18 year old and older. Do you go to college, university? Do you, I, I, have you got a friend, a friends? If you've got five friends, you've got a lot. And because a friendship, don't forget, a friendship takes work to maintain it. It's just like a marriage. A marriage is a contract, anything with a contract, verbally or written takes work. It's a full-time job. Life is a full-time job to maintain yourself. Okay, so look at what you have, not at what you don't have. And mean, be grateful, be thankful, show gratitude by helping others. Just even if it is a listening ear, if you haven't got money, it, that doesn't take money. You can do a lot of things that doesn't cost money. Take the neighbor's dog for a walk if you haven't got a dog. Go outside, mingle with people. And now with this coronavirus, just try to maintain busy yourself by, okay, watching YouTube videos on how to meditate. Look for silent meditating music. I will leave a channel be underneath that you can listen to 24-7. It helps you to take you to sleep. It helps you to relax. And when you close your eyes and you just, just call your own name, just let it go. And when you lose that name, you most probably don't force it. Don't force anything. You most probably will see colors. Watch out your breathing. What we do in, in the live sessions, do that breathing exercise. Just do it two or three times, then relax for a while. And if your name, just call your name, that's a mantra, or call out your pet's name. Just do it gently and relax. Lie on your bed. You don't have to sit in this position, okay? That's the lotus position, except his other arm should be like this or like this on your knees. You don't have to sit like that. To me, that's not relaxing. I go and sit in an easy chair or I'm going to lie on the couch or on the bed. 
and just take that 10 minutes out it most probably will become 20 minutes a day and you will feel rejuvenated you will feel stronger you will feel happier it does does work and after a while like i did i did transcendental meditation i studied for it and it's easy but in the beginning it's hard so you must persevere and this is how you can keep balance this is how your voice your intonation the way of thinking will change you will benefit but you will also forget i forgot mine for a half a year to two years and i got it back and now i'm sharing it with you and um, go and create your own party this yoga party relax party get friends around two or three friends sit in your sitting room or for even in the garage and do this exercise just being together and let somebody say and now we're going to do this like i do in the live sessions and the next time you let somebody else do it you will have good vibes if you can feel the vibes in my life sessions then you can certainly feel it with close friends i hope i've um, brightened your day in some way and i hope you have watched my channel and become a subscriber and give me the thumbs up it would be awesome to meet you in the live sessions for english i go live on monday and friday and for the dutch i go dutch is from holland i'm from holland i'm bilingual and so is the channel but the group is getting so big that I've segregated the Dutch from the English. So the Dutch is on the Wednesday nights. If you can speak Dutch, you're more than welcome. I hope you have a beautiful day and thanks very much, uh, Crystal V, and uh, for collaborating with me and to all the other creators that are in, uh, joining in in this challenge and collaboration. I send you all my love and to all the few viewers be blessed and i hope the angels and the universe is with you and that you accept it so set the inten uh, uh, intention to receive their love and peace and may you find the peace within take care